was interested in light, different sorts of light, you know, from the moon especially, which was to become his main um, sort of focal point in many of his paintings, but shop window lights, that sort of thing, carriage lights. So he's very much an artist of looking around at what was there and trying to show the contemporary audience how uh, the city was developing. I was approached by the Mercer Art Gallery. Jane Sellers from the Mercer had seen a body of my work, Sharp's Wood, and she felt there were links with Atkinson Grimshaw's paintings. And she felt through the sense of colour and through that body of work being um, made at night, that we had similarities and parallels in our work. So she approached me with the idea of making work around the lifetime's work of Atkinson Grimshaw. So his work, to me, does have that sense of something photographic. His earliest work has generally been described as being pre-Raphaelite in style, you know, that is, it looks like paintings by Millet or Holman Hunt, um, who studied very closely from nature and they used a really sort of strong colour palette. His style changes co really consciously into what we call, you know, the Atkinson Grimshaw, his moonlights, his, his, his unique way of, of painting and that happens really as we move into the 1870s and he his subject changes too he moves away from the sort of natural landscape of the Lake District or of around Belton Abbey and he looks more and more at the urban landscape and he's looking at the new cities he's looking at Leeds where he was born and he's seeing you know, the, the new buildings, he's seeing streets with gas lighting for the first time, he's seeing crowds of people scurrying about this whole new city life and he chooses to paint it. But at the same time, he, he makes this decision to paint it generally by night or by moonlight, which if you think about it, it's quite a stunning decision because it's not an easy thing to do. And he creates this wonderfully luminous atmosphere in his paintings, the way he is painting the light, this sort of greenish light with the moon sort of gleaming out of it and uh, illuminating the scene. So that what he manages to do is to make these everyday scenes of city life, if, if you like, into sort of rather poetic images. Well, this one is a family picnic, which shows Atkinson and uh, his wife, Frances, Fanny, he looks like a man who is very much involved in doing his own thing. My name is April Margaret Ragland Marsden, and I was born Phillips. Atkinson Grimshaw was my paternal great-grandfather. My grandmother, shortly before she died, here she is, 94, with her son Guy, my father, and me, and my two, my twin sons, Leith and Namir. A touch of mystery indeed pervaded every Grimshaw picture that I've seen. Despite the realist detail, there's always a subtle feeling of something unstated, something half apprehended, perhaps something imminent. I think he enjoyed living the grand life beyond his means, entertaining quite important people of the time, I think, would come to the house and he enjoyed that. I think he spent all his time painting and had a model, Agnes Leaf, and he imported the model even to his family home. Uh, what my great-grandmother thought about that, I don't know. Papa, who had been to the theatre, brought home with him a beautiful young woman to live with us and be his 
model. Poor Mama, careworn by much childbearing and the many griefs they had both shared, was deeply hurt and, for the first time in my life, I heard angry voices as I clung terrified on her breast. He was not up there with, you know, the sort of the great names of Victorian art showing at the Royal Academy or, I mean, he did, you know, occasionally show at some of these places, but he didn't make London his, his sort of arena. He was much more northern based. In his lifetime, I suppose he had a relatively limited kind of uh, circle of patrons and audience. In, in fact, his works have gained more and more in popularity since his death. Well, it all began in, the, I think, the late 1950s when the first sort of modern exhibition took place in London. And since then, there's been a succession of shows, um, notably the, the Leeds one in 79, which um, was, I think, the biggest show since his memorial exhibition of 1897. You get this, this new interest in Victorian painting in the 1960s and 1970s and then Grimshaw comes back with a vengeance and he emerges as just one of those artists that everybody wants to collect. <laughs> <laughs>